Well, that's definitely her car. Oh, she's gone. Ditched it. We've missed them. Oh, great. What the hell are you playing at? I'm having a wee, if that's any of your business. I think she meant the elopement thing, Pet. Oh, really? So, how did you find me? Look. Oh, and surprise, surprise. He stood you up. <laughs> He's on his way now, actually. So back off while you still can. I am marrying the father of my child. <laughs> Now, what is this? I thought old people were big on tradition. No, love, we're big on experience, which is why we know this lonely and badly. But it won't. We're both committed to making this work. Yeah, right. Love, it's not two minutes since Prince Charming said you were using this baby as a meal ticket, threatened to chew you up and spit you out. Yes, and he's changed. That's what he's trying to prove. He wants us to bring up your grandchild together. So if my son's that committed, where is he? He'll be here. Oh, you think so, do you? He'll be miles away by now, doing what he always does when he can't take the heat. He wouldn't do that. Why not? I mean, marriage? Gabby, he can barely stand to be in the same room as you. That is not true. He's gutless. He sold you a pack of lies. And now he's left you stood here like some pregnant spare part because he doesn't love you or the baby. And he never will. We'll soon see about that, won't we? Oh, Gabby, don't go. You're upset. No, I'm going to prove this to you, OK? So, yeah, go on, say I'm deluded, but I am going to be his wife and you can't do anything to stop me. He's not going to pick up. He will. He wouldn't leave without us. Oh, wake up, Gabby. He's ditched you. He's gone. You're never going to see Jamie again.